2503S Rockwood Mini Light here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a Murphy bed, couples camper with a awesome rear bathroom and tons of storage. Uh, this is also a member of the number one selling series of lightweights out there for many consecutive years, Rockwood. Uh, they're, they're the kings of lightweight camping. It's all they do, it's what they do, and they're the best at it. That being said, there's a lot of lightweights out there today and a lot of travel trailers, so why purchase a Rockwood versus another brand? Those are the things that I like to hit on in these videos. Um, the, uh, the amenity level, basically in a Rockwood, will surpass anything else on the market today. Um, and by that, uh, keep in mind there's a lot of optional equipment in this video I'm going to touch on. This is not every 2503S we carry, this is generic stock footage. So kind of remember that if our pictures look different from the video. So right away, let's dig in here. One of the big things we're looking at is the Sapphire package. That's giving us a whole exterior facelift on this thing. We're getting the vanilla ice cream, um, you know, skin package here. That gives us the milk chocolate diamond plate. We're also going to be looking at a couple handy little things like frameless windows that just look amazing. They look absolutely stellar and fantastic. What's neat is they open in a jealousy fashion, meaning they hinge open from the top. So you can use them in the rain, which traditional slider windows you cannot. Um, also included in the Sapphire Edition is the uh, aluminum wheel package here. Now what's nice is every single Rockwood uh, fifth wheel travel trailer, they all ride on radius wheels, on independent um, torsion axles. And that's the thing, is this is an independent torsion suspension system. You're looking at 500 extra dollars per axle as compared to pretty much any other lightweight out there. So already we're looking at a thousand dollar price increase, but why would you pay for that? Here's what you get for it. It's a rubberized shock dampening system. It's going to absorb shocks and jolts from the road level before they get translated up into the walls, into your window frames, into your roof line, and forward into your vehicle. This different suspension system, which virtually nobody uses, is going to significantly improve the lifespan of this RV as well as your towing experience. Also, uh, we have added a power awning to this, which is optional on a mini light, but notice it is a max size awning. Uh, again, they don't skimp on anything at Rockwood. They put the biggest awning they could on this. It starts at the rear wall, goes all the way up to the taper on the nose, easily clears both doors, which is another thing very few lightweights have is two doors. Um, oh, here's another big thing. This is a Murphy bed model. Historically, before this year, if you looked at a Murphy bed, it meant you were giving up your outside storage. You can see that Rockwood did some redesigns here and utilized the space under that sofa to reintroduce a full front pass-through storage to this RV where previously there was none. So there's essentially no drawback to this floor plan anymore. There's, there's no, well, Murphy beds are cool, but that's all gone. Now you just get everything. You get the big storage, you get the multiple use interior space. Um, you know, you've got uh, all kinds of storage pockets out here. Uh, prep for a solar suitcase, by the way, if you want to keep your batteries topped off, you can do that. Most lightweights have 20-pound propane tanks. Even on Rockwood's smallest member of their lightweight family, they still have 30-pound tanks. And that's kind of a lead into the fact that Rockwoods are all built the same. Some are just bigger than others. They all have um, the same core features. They have the same structure. It's just a matter of how many sprinkles do you want on your ice cream. That's a very simplified way of stating it, but it is very accurate. For instance, in terms of construction, most lightweights. You walk up to the sidewalls, thump on them, they're nice and laminated and they're solid and that's all well and good. Walk over to the sidewall the slide out and just pound on it. A Rockwood pounds back. Same with the front wall, same with the rear wall, same with the roof and the floor and everything else. Every single exterior side of this RV is 100% vacuum laminated. And I stress vacuum because there's also a method out there called pinch rolling, which is fine. This is better. Long story short, this lasts longer and is uh, less likely to delaminate or deteriorate or fall apart or whatever phrase you would like to use to apply to that. Um, so definitely full walk on roof being laminated. This is basically a zero flex roof. You can tap dance all over this thing if you want to. And again, it's little detail stuff, even in some big fifth wheels, but especially small um, lightweights. Things like these outside vents out here. Um, that's This is your heat exhaust for your stovetop, and that's the kind of stuff a lot of RVs don't have, amazingly. Um, I've seen some fifty, sixty thousand dollars fifth wheels that don't have that, because they just, uh, people don't really cook in those anymore. Yeah, but the ones that do want that heat exhaust, and even if you don't, let's say you're just trying to get some fresh air rolling through your camper, that fan and the ventilation is nice. Speaking of fans and ventilations, if you look up at uh, any time you see a power vent fan in a Rockwood, 
first you will see that fantastic fan roof cover up there. Um, those are 50 or 60 bucks installed aftermarket and now you don't have to worry about an aftermarket dealer's work, Rockwood's guaranteeing their own work. That I like. I like when things come from one source. I like a one-stop shop that's easy for me. I like easy, I like comfortable, I like fun. Rockwood is all of these things. Um, coincidentally, so is Halitz. <laughs> not, a, not a coincidence that we do so well with this product. You know, we do hitching, financing, pieces, parts, trades, everything at one place. You have a car, you have a horse trailer, you want to buy this camper, we'll take them on trade. We do everything. Um, the awning does have pitch adjustment, by the way. Let me double check the weight on this one while I'm looking at the tag. Uh, I don't have the hard weight on the sticker. Of course, the primary weight's probably up front. Um, so, uh, while we're standing here, I want to point out two entry doors that are full size, by the way. This is not a smaller entry door. They use the same size doors everywhere. Um, secondly, we have little gas struts to hold these doors open so the wind doesn't whip this thing open and slam it against the side of the trailer. We're looking at nicer hardware on the doors. We've got the nice, uh, you know, like, metal framed um, slider door panels here. They just work easier. The weather doesn't get to them as bad. Even the rear entry door still has the nicer big handle. Now we have direct bathroom access going on here, and this is super, super cool. Um, they don't have to put the second door here. The second doors are usually in campers for fire code. This is here for the, uh, the final sale consumer. That's what I like about Rockwoods. They have a lot of things equipped in these trailers that aren't like a, a fun sales pitch, but they're things that build so much value for an after sale consumer. Um, like, you know, a big extra closet here, an extra window back here for light in the bathroom, you know, stuff like that. These are things that a lot of brands don't have. Um, the uh, outside entertainment center here, your TV is mounted on a swing arm. I have that inside uh, currently. Sometimes I put them inside, sometimes outside. But your whole TV is on a swing arm, so you can mount your TV outside. It plugs in down here, and because it's not a swing arm, you can face your grilling station here. You can face the rear area. Wherever you have your picnic table set up, you can make your TV face that direction so that you never miss the game, the race, whatever your passions happen to be. And it's little detail stuff like outside speakers. What people don't think about, they're like, well, why do these things stick out? Why did Rockwood do that? Because they didn't want to put a big four inch hole in a laminated wall that degrades your structure. So they had to zip just a small enough hole to run a couple wires through, and then that's it. And they got to seal this thing up. So that's a surface mount speaker, which is going to give you a better service record than a flush mount speaker. It may not look as cool, but it has to function first. That's everything in a Rockwood. Um, let's, uh, let's step inside here for you. Um, I do want to point out we have 100% LED interior lighting. They are brighter, they use less energy. I'm just running off a of battery right now and I don't worry about that on a Rockwood versus some of our cheaper campers that have incandescent bulbs because those will suck a battery box dry. Um, so let's, uh, actually we're going to work backwards on this one. We're going to start at the back and work forward because that's kind of the way the Murphy beds are set up. So right away in the bathroom, first of all, we have a bigger sink. We have a big full size sink in here. And um, notice too that we have extra countertop space all around the sink. So you have room for your toothbrushes and stuff, even though they give you holders for that. Um, you, you have more space in here. So we have a big extra closet going on here in the bathroom. That's really handy to keep coats and stuff back here because again, with this door here, you can hop in, hop out, grab a coat, and not track dirt through your camper. Also, what's nice about this door, if you're going down the road and you need to use the bathroom real quick, you got room to do that. And speaking of a bathroom, 20, what, 23, 25 foot lightweight with a big rear bathroom. And I mean, look at the space I have going on in here. This is a very, very large bathroom space. Very comfortable couples camper. Uh, big fifth wheel style standing shower. Now what people don't realize is every Rockwood, even these mini lights, does have a cathedral ceiling. They do have an arched interior roof. So name another lightweight that a guy like me who's 6'3 can stand up in like this and have this kind of headroom. They're not built every day, folks. That's why I point this stuff out. Again, bigger fan with the roof vent cover built right in and yet another handy little utility area here. This is the perfect spot to keep like all of your toilet paper and your chemicals and stuff uh, for your black tank tucked away out of the way, but not um, hard to access, so to speak. So moving forward, we have a the big U dinette here. This folds down into a seven foot bed if need be. And again, this is all freestanding. You can move this wherever, however you want. 
Um, your TV, I mentioned, uh, is just on a swing arm, inside or outside. What's neat is the entire swing arm here actually lifts up out of that bracket and mounts into that outside matching bracket. So you can make this face the kitchen, the bed, the living room, wherever you want. Um, we have a handy little charging station up here for your phones and whatnot since uh, you just dangle your cord down and just rest it behind you essentially is the easiest way to do that. Now your stereo here, even your stereo is upgraded in Rockwood. It's an IRV33 system. Um, it's AM, FM, CD, DVD, it's Bluetooth. Now what's really cool is you can download a free app for like any iPhone or Android and Bluetooth wirelessly link to this stereo and you can turn your phone into a remote control for that thing. How cool is that? That's very cool. It even has high def inputs if you want to bring a Blu-ray player or something. Um, so all of your cabinetry like this, all hardwood doors, and you can see I can be very, very friendly with those. Just like the roof, just like the walls, the floor, everything. This is built so solid, it's not even funny. But again, in terms of construction, there's very, very, very few things out there that rival Rockwood. Um, you know, the fact that this cabinetry here is pocket screwed, uh, the camera's not a good spot, I can't like show you, but this piece of wood is screwed into that one. They're not stapled, they're not glued, they don't use chintz style construction. Um, the, I think I mentioned that the table's freestanding, so if you want to take that outside like a picnic table, do it. This can fold down into a seven foot bed if you need to, it can do everything. Storage in this model is awesome. Let me open this up and just really give you the full effect here. This is the big slide out here. And actually, even this pantry right here is part of the slide. So from there, all the way over to here is a pure 100% kitchen and storage slide out. And that is what makes all the difference here. All of this extra storage is bonus space. This is in the slide out. It's off the floor. It gets out of your way. So you get this big pots and pans. Or notice everything here. It's all plywood constructed. I mean, if I, uh, you know, where, where they're using framework, it's all aluminum framework. Where they're using wood, it's plywood. It's not press board. It's not particle board. They don't use cheap materials to keep this light. They use better processes. Rockwoods are going to cost a dollar more. You're getting a dollar more for it. That's the whole point of this. If, uh, you know, if, if you're looking to purchase the last trailer ever, Rockwood's an excellent candidate. You do not um, upgrade from a Rockwood. You upgrade to a Rockwood, so to speak. And, I, and I'm very confident when I say that. Um, power outlets here, power outlets there. Now this has a deceptively big kitchen countertop. And uh, we have the sink cover here to regain countertop space as well as a flush mount stove. But look at how deep it is behind that stove. These stoves are all the same size. So that means this countertop is about 18 inches deeper than what you normally find in a camper. Uh, not to mention, Big time extra storage even down here in the slide out. Storage everywhere in this. That's what I like about it. This is 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack. And the best example of that we're about to see, and that is the front Murphy bed right here. So during the day, you get, uh, well really, I mean this whole camper is two floor plans in one. During the day, you just get this nice front living room camper. Lightweight, not hard to tow, but here's the cool part. You're towing like 25 feet but you get a 30 foot camper at your campsite. Because during the day you just get this nice big front living room with lots of walk space here. So you, even if you are sitting at the sofa, you don't trip the person coming in the front door. Now, it's nighttime. You're ready to call it quits for the day. You're ready to rest up and hit it again tomorrow. Here's all you gotta do. I've only got one hand. Keep in mind, because the other hand's running the camera. Jackknife the sofa down. You have these little clips to lock the bed in place. Bed comes down and you go to bed. That is it. That is all there is to it. That was, I think, maybe five seconds, and we're sleeping. That's it. You want to set? You want to flip it back up at, uh, in the morning? Same thing. You just flip it right back up. It's uh, it, it's two floor plans in one. Uh, but again, with Rockwood, you also still maintain that front pass-through storage, and that's the key part. That's the thing that so many other brands were giving up. Um, even Rockwood in years past, and they, their engineers went to town, they redesigned this, and they just they hit a home run. They knocked it out of the park because now you get everything. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hail it RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe, happy, camping. Have some fun.